Hello friends, today we will see an interesting puzzle, 7 units gold rod. In this puzzle, an employee works for an employer for 7 days. The employer has a gold rod of 7 units. How shall the employer pay the employee so that the employee gets 1 unit of gold bar at the end of each day? This might seem to be really easy, but the condition is the employer can make at most two cuts in the rod. This puzzle is based on the concept of binary numbers. The employer should cut the rod into pieces in powers of two. Since it is a seven units gold rod, the employer should divide the rod into the units of one unit, two units and four units respectively. So at the end of first day, the employer gives a cut of one unit to the employee. At the end of second day, he takes back the cut of one unit from the employee and gives the cut of two units to the employee. At the end of third day, he gives the cut of one unit to the employee. So the employee has cuts of one unit and two units respectively at the end of the third day. At the end of fourth day, he takes back the cuts of one unit and two units from the employee and gives the cut of four units to the employee. At the end of fifth day, he gives the cut of one unit to the employee. At the end of sixth day, he takes back the cut of one unit to the employee and gives the cut of four units. So the employee now has cut of four units and two units respectively at the end of sixth day. Finally, on the seventh day, he gives the cut of one unit to the employee. In this way, the employee gets the seven units gold rod. This table here illustrates the concept of binary numbers. This table depicts the ways in which the employee gets the gold bars at the end of each day. On the first day, he gets the cut of one unit. On the second day, he gets the cut of two units and returns the cut of one unit. On the third day, he gets back the cut of one unit. So in the end, he has the cut of two units and one units respectively at the end of third day. On the fourth day, he returns the cut of two units and one unit respectively and gets back the cut of four units. On the fifth day, he gets the cut of one unit. On the sixth day, he returns this cut of one unit and gets back the cut of two units. So at the end of sixth day, the employee now has cut of four units and two units respectively. Similarly, on the last day, he gets all the seven units of the gold rod. Now, if the problem is extended and the gold rod is made up of 15 units, and we need to pay the employee one unit of gold rod at the end of each day. This can be extended again using the binary concept. The gold rod should be divided into powers of two. Since it is a 15 piece rod, the rod is divided as follows. One unit that is 2 raised to power 0, two units that is 2 raised to power 1, four units that is 2 raised to power 2, and 8 units that is 2 raised to the power 4. Similarly, the pieces of fraud are given to the employee as follows. And finally, on the 15th day, the employee gets all the pieces of gold rod. This table here again depicts the ways in which Various gold bars are given to the employee at the end of each day respectively. At the end of first day, he gets a cut of one unit and so on till seven days as already discussed. On the eighth day, he gives back the cut of four units, two units and one units respectively and gets the cut of eight units. On the ninth day, he gets the cut of one unit. 
on the 10th day he gives back this cut of one unit and gets the cut of two units so the employee gives the employer the cut of two units and eight units at the end of 10th day on the 11th day he gets the cut of one unit on the 12th day he returns the cut of one unit and two units and gets the cut of four units so the employee now has cuts of eight unit and four units at the end of 12th day similarly on the 15th day he gets back all the cuts of gold bar i hope you understood this puzzle stay tuned for many more thank you